it's time to learn how we can make some panels on our page. So if you don't have one, open a new page. And we'll find our panels. They are going to be in this that, that same folder that has all these tools under it. So it's maybe as a direct line tool, but it's third from the top, from the bottom. And we're going to click on frame border. That's the second one. I would recommend taking this out and rearranging it somehow because it is really its own tool that needs a, needs its own spot up here, I think. So we have a variety of options on here. Let's begin with our rectangle frame. And don't by any means feel constrained to limit your frames to rectangles just because that's kind of the standard, but there are plenty of other options you can do. And um, sometimes like people like Will Eisner and Scott McCloud will talk about how even the shape of your uh, your panels will affect the kind of the tone of your your story. So keep that in mind. And we have a lot of options before we even make the, the rectangle frame. And let's see, fill inside the frame is going to determine whether we have a white background. So I'm going to leave that checked for now. Create a new folder I want and draw border I want. And I'm going to make this black though. It's pretty much the standard size, I mean the standard color for frames, but again there may be a purpose that you would need it otherwise. And size, I have no idea for this size page how this is going to look, so I'm just going to try an 8 size and then I'm going to put it down. So if your entire page is made up of kind of a rectangle shape and broken up, you can do it over the entire page or you can do each panel at a time. There's kind of a disadvantage to doing a panel at a time is that you'll have to kind of get them to line up, which is a little more work than I like to do. But let me just show you. So let me just assume I was making a panel right here and I just click and drag and then release. And you see it has made this panel that is, uh, this may be a good thickness for, for you, but I don't really care for it. I would actually prefer a thicker panel. So, um, before I do change that though, let's look over here. So we had our initial layer and just by cl clicking and dragging that though, I created these kind of three new levels. So this is the, uh, the panel itself. It has a, a triangle that you can click and kind of open what's included in it. So this is just the frame. The frame is the edge and you can't really, you can't draw on the frame. And then this is our actual layer that we're going to be drawing on, whether, whether it's ink or whatever. And this is just a white background. So it's like an additional page. Like even if I turn off the, the first, uh, the first, the paper, that's still there. And if I turn it off, then I can see through to the transparency. But let's turn everything back on. And like I said, if you want to change this uh, after you've already created it, you can just press O and make sure you're on it. And you can resize it, rotate it, what have you. And I just wanted to make the size a little thicker. So I'm going to turn it up to, I don't know, 20, just to show you. So that is kind of how you can create a rectangle and tweak it. Now, I'm going to undo this though. Actually, I'm just going to delete it. So drag this into the trash. And I'm going to show you how it more likely create a kind of a panel on this page. So let's assume that, like I said, this is the edge of our page right here. And this is the edge of where we want to really include things. So I'm going to actually make the edge of my, my uh, panel right here and drag it and cover the entire page. And I'll show you why I'm doing this in a minute. So let's go back to that and just drag the rectangle. This is one thing I, I should mention is that when I make these rectangles, I tend to use not my pen, but my mouse. And the reason is that when I release it with the pen, I have to kind of lift it off the, the drawing tablet. And sometimes when I do that, it tends to just move it like an, a little, like just tiny bit and mess up the, the spot that I had it in. Whereas with a mouse, when I release it, all I have to do is release the button. So it just stays there. So 
I'm going to use the mouse and uh, you're welcome to try either and see what works for you. But I'm just going to click on this corner and drag it to the bottom corner. Whoa. Right here. And it kind of, it does lock onto it. So, and then just release. And it has made this. And again, the, uh, the sizing isn't really what I want, but I'm just going to leave it for now. So that's the rectangle frame. Now, if I wanted to break this up into smaller panels, which is what I usually do, you can either use the divide frame folder or you can do divide frame border. Divide frame folder, let me show you that first. And that is going to, and you can divide it using a line or a polyline or a spline, which is going to let you make a curve, but I'm just going to use the line for a second. And if I hold down shift, it'll give me a perfectly straight line when I click. So click and we get this line right here. Now, uh, what that did was it divided and you can see the panels over here on the right. The, the, the white area is the actual panel that I'm looking at. So this one is this top panel and this one down here is this bottom panel and it just divides with the subfolders, the white background, and so on. And when I draw in one of these, for example, if I take a pen and draw, it'll draw until I get to the edge and then stop. So even over here, I can't draw over here. Well, actually, I am drawing. If I extended the, uh, the border, it would still be there, but I'm not going to do that. But if I, um, and then if I draw up here again, it won't draw into the other one. Now I'm going to undo these. Control Z, Control Z, until, oh, go forward one, Control Y. Okay, so back to here. That was with the divide frame folder. Now the other option is to divide the frame border, and it's going to do what looks like the same thing. So I'm going to press Control, I'm just shift, and put my line down and then release. And again, it, we have these two panels, but you notice over here now that it's just one, uh, it's not a separate group of panels, of uh, layers. It's actually just all included under this one frame thing. So this layer is actually both of these. So when I draw now, it's actually going to just cross over into the next panel. So because these, these, the gutter is so narrow here, it's actually, there is a space in between, but it's, it, it'll draw between panels. So I don't use this as much. I tend to prefer having separate folders, but you might have a use for this for some reason. Let me show you the uh, other ways that you can divide this. So I'm going to undo this. Okay. I would also probably fix the, uh, the width of this. I do not like this. So I'm going to actually change that. And you can, you can make these changes and lock them like you would any other tool, but, uh, it's basically right here, the horizontal space and the vertical space. So I'm going to turn this up. So now, oh, you know what? It's the vertical space, excuse me. So I actually need to turn this one up. So. So now it's a little larger. It's still not very large though. So you can make it a lot larger if you want. <laughs> and each of these is uh, keeping it all in the same folder. So if I wanted to, again to make it in a separate folder, I would use divide frame folder. So let me show you how you do a polyline with that. So I could just start here, for example. And make oops, escape and I've made this panel here and again these these gutters are way too narrow for me I would adjust and make the gap a lot larger uh, let me show you this with the, the spline tool so I'm going to start in here and let's see just make some totally wobbly bullet border and when I get to the edge, I just double click and release. 
And there we have, and you notice that now it is making these new separate groups of panels, of layers, excuse me. And now if I draw in here and, and go over, it won't go into the next one. Okay, so I'm going to clear this page. Actually, I'm just going to close it and reopen a new one. And show you these other options. And also we have a few options in here, but not really. For the, for the most part, our options are all out here. Because there's not a lot of things with panels that you're going to be able to do. But uh, there still is a lot of... Uh, creativity involved definitely but it's they're they're pretty simple for the most part and uh, the polyline frame is just going to let you make you know a frame of whatever polyline shape we want and we can adjust the width the and so on and then the frame border pen is just going to let me make a frame of you know any shape and again the same options and yeah, using just these three, really, in dividing our frame folder or the border, we can create all kinds of shapes, and also they will overlap, too. So you could have a, like a, a layer of panels behind one another, and you can move these around and do all kinds of things, and you can make adjustments, adjustments by, you know, pressing O and clicking on it and make further tweaks and so on and so on. So there's really... Oh, a huge variety of options for creating unique panels or simple panels, just creating a big rectangle. There's one more thing I wanted to show you. Let me get a new canvas. So I used a rectangle frame earlier, and I went like this, and then I divided it using the divide frame folder. And I can make it any angle. Let's say like that. Oh, it's on the the polyline still. And uh, I can do that, but I was working within the page, but I can also, if I undo this, I could actually go and cover the entire page using the rectangle. And now you can't see anything, but I can still, at this point, alter and divide this rectangle that, I, that is there. So if I... Uh, create a line like that it just goes off the page entirely but it's still there so there's there's quite a few options with these and uh, I think you'll like making panels it's actually really easy to do so uh, enjoy <laughs>